Yeah. Family, this is the last video, this is the last reaction that we're doing in basically this iconic apartment setup. And what better, what better reaction than one that was sent direct to me by the artist? Roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Adiano The Third. Y'all guys are The Third Family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed and you like what you see at the end of the video, consider becoming part of the family, clicking the subscribe button, bottom right hand corner. Now this video right here is recorded two months in advance. I am no longer in this apartment by the time y'all guys are seeing that. And that's because Andy Minio himself sent this to me in a DM saying, yo, I got this dope project idea. We were in Japan and we filmed like this little short for this song that I did. And the idea that we have is like in Japanese TV, the way that they have people reacting in the top right hand, top left hand corner to whatever the video or whatever reality TV show is. I wanna do that same thing with this video. I wanna potentially put you in the corner reacting to the, reacting to the track. And I was like, first off, is this really Andy Minio right now in my DMs telling me that he's validating my videos and validating my reactions by wanting me to react to a song that's completely unreleased? Yo, Andy. I appreciate it, man. I don't know if you know or if anybody's been here long enough, but at the beginning of this reaction thing, I struggled with wanting to make my videos long form, but also knowing that YouTube did not like long form videos when I started this channel. So it was like an internal battle on what I needed to do. And eventually I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna make them long form and if the people like them, the people like them. And here we are, 100,000 subscribers later at the time of this recording. And I hit the 100,000 mark four days before Andy sent me this video. So it was kind of just like, everything that I wanted the channel to be was coming to fruition at the same time. Y'all were validating by subscribing and here comes a major artist coming in and validating my videos as well. So Andy, I appreciate it, man, like from the bottom of my heart to get this opportunity. I even put on my special, new, it's all faded now, my New York Yankee championship hat that I got in New York City when I went to go visit because I know your boy is from New York City. I gotta get my hands on that MoMA New York Yankee hat. Let's get into it. We got the song right here loaded up called Jackson Pollock. It looks like it's about two minutes and eight seconds. So I don't know if it's a full on song or if it's a verse or what is it, but only one way to find out. Follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at the third earnest, just like the channel, links down in the description. And we got, yo, crazy to say it right now. We got an unreleased track from Andy Minio entitled Jackson Pollock. Let's get it. Okay, where should I begin? It's dark outside, it's ominous. When I that hate wait hitting that hard already? We're not, what are we, seven seconds into the video? All right, let's start over again. Okay, where should I begin? It's dark outside, it's ominous. When I had no dough, ate ramen with a whole lot of rich. Now I'm convinced that I'm content, but I gotta get a whole lot for my time is spent. And I'm diving in with the time is red. I'm feeling myself like Madonna did. Quarantine when the virus is. <laughs> Yo, this dude, man, he's, he's crazy with the bars. And what's dope about like that opening bar where he was talking about I ate my ramen with a lot of Ritz. Like if you if you didn't come from like middle or lower class America, like if you if you weren't in that socioeconomic status, you might not even. It's almost like it's almost like a rite of passage to try to stretch out your food by putting like crackers in it. My grandma, R.I.P. Before she died, whenever she would make like hamburger meat, she did the same thing. That's a dope line because. If you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? I had no dough, so that's how I ate my ramen to stretch it out further. But also bread is made from dough and noodles are made from dough. So he's using it like the wordplay to say money, but also food to go into the ramen line. That's fire. And he said, I'm content, but I still got a long way to go. No one wants to live a life of mediocrity. No one wants to just live content, especially artists who have like this artistic drive. They always want to go forward and forward and forward. And he says, I'm diving in with the psalmist writ, like literally talking about the Bible book, like the book of Psalms. But the way he says writ to make it fit, it's not proper grammar, but he says, I'm diving in with the psalmist writ. So that way he gets that multiple syllable rhyme scheme. That's fire. And then he said, I'm feeling myself like Madonna did. Like he's feel like he's got that swagger. He's got that confidence, but also Madonna was like known, known for touching herself when she sang the song, Like a Virgin. It's like one of her, it's one of her iconic and also one of her most controversial like performance things that she did on stage. It's dope. I'm feeling myself like Madonna did. Quarantine when the virus hit. Uh, I'm like, where did my commas went? Got uh, hide out like Osama crib. That's spring break here with no common sense. Therapy for the trauma lived. Oh, that's where all of my dollars spent. That's 
minor league the ENT and I ain't talking sinuses. I don't make threats, I make promises and I don't go. Oh, oh, I don't make threats, I make promises. Is, are you threatening me? That's a promise, Jack. I can't exactly pinpoint where that's from because it's a very, it's an iconic line that's used a lot across multiple movies, multiple platforms. Are you, are you threatening me? I don't make threats, I make promises. He said in quarantine when the virus hit, same fam except pfft, your boy still got the Rona. And he said, I gotta hide out like Osama's crib. Yo, Zero Dark Thirty, when they go in there, pop, pop, yo. And he said, that's Minor League, that ENT, and I ain't talking sinuses. Yeah, I know Minor League is his, that's like his brand, that's like his merch brand. Talking ENT, I ain't talking no sinuses. You go to the ear, nose, and throat doctor, the ENT, yo. The bars are just like, Andy is obviously someone who walks by his faith and his and his lyrics and his music reflects that. Like there's no cussing. It kind of keeps him on the underground because your mainstream music listener, your mainstream rap like connoisseur is not gonna dive into the Christian world too heavy. So he's kind of like a diamond in the rough if you find him because these bars that he spits, these are like mainstream A-list up there with the best. But yet he's still able to keep his roots about him. He's still, he's still able to keep his head and say like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna walk away from my faith faith just to go get more money. I'm still going to be true to me and have that faith intermingled within these hard ass bars. And I think that's dope. I don't make threats, I make promises, and I don't reflect on accomplishments. Man, right now, that's what time it is. And I'm climbing, sort of like climate is. There a Ooh. pilot that just did two lines of blow inside of the private jet, and the thing go pew. Never land two, gotta <laughs> drop that soul, running on fuel. I guess hey, 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 the delivery, and then the, and then when he holds that note right before I pause it, and like the, and the font shakes, it's tight. And he said, I don't go flex on accomplishments, because I accomplished a lot, but that's not, that's not what makes me who I am. If you have to feel the need to flex, it's because deep down your insecurities are which driving you forward instead of like instead of your talent instead of your fan base you don't need to flex they know what you got and he said i'm climbing sort of like climbing is like he's climbing the charts he's climbing the ladder but also climate change and he said our pilot that just did two lines of blow inside of a private jet like he's like he did like cocaine and then his heart rate is rising his heart rate is climbing just the different ways and examples that he's given you for the one for the one idea of climbing that's tight and i like how true to style the video text is to japanese to japanese tv <laughs> Running on fuel. I ain't gassed up, I'm confident. I ain't gassed up, look what I'm driving in. That's electric, kid, but test up. Well, hey. not yet, but it's on my checklist. Pre order that, yeah, I'm invested. Waiting for my come in. Time in, man. Patience, that's the lesson. They salty like Epsom. They don't like me, Ooh. but they gotta respect them. Fall, I leave, I'm a leaving the press. They salty like Epsom, son. Like they salty, like they're in their feelings that they're, they're being haters, but like Epsom salt. <laughs> That's a bar. But just the transition in the lyrics from the last four bars to this four bars and how it transitioned seamlessly because he had that writing on fumes, he had like that delivery, and then he went on into the next topic of the next topic of his lyrics, which was like, which was like gas, like gassed up, running on fumes, but I'm not running on fumes because I just pre-ordered Tesla. And he said, I ain't gassed up, just like the Tesla that he pre-ordered. There's a difference between gassing yourself and being confident. Gassing yourself is when you're hype, but you don't have the skill to back it. Being confident in yourself is basically what I am in this channel. I got the skill to back it, so I'm confident in I'm confident in the way that I present these videos. They salty like Epsom, they don't like me, but they gotta respect them. Fault I leave, I'ma leave an impression. R.I.P. to the beat, I stretched it out. Don't smoke weed, but I'm extra loud. You might be for the extra house, that's just in case when I exit out. Money don't grow on trees, but it grow on me, cause I go throw seed in the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Talking about oh my god, man. The energy in this is like got me hyped. Like I'm like I'm getting balmy because of how hyped the way the delivery of the song and the delivery of the video. He said they don't like me, but they gotta respect me. Like you might not like me, you might not like who I am or the way that I make my music. You better respect this pen game, son, because I I'm coming with it. And he said, before I leave, I gotta leave an impression, like leave an impression on music, leave an impression on people. And I don't know if he meant this, but the way that like prehistoric plants, like whenever they're fossilized, they literally leave an impression. It's literally leaves leaving an impression. It's fire. And he said, RIP to the beat. I stretched it out. And then the and then the font grew bigger. And then I don't smoke weed, but I'm extra loud. Loud is like slang vernacular for marijuana for weed. Like, hey, yo, I'm rolling that loud. That's literally why the festival is called Rolling Loud. And he said, me and wifey bought an extra house. It's like he's not flexing, but it is a flex. It's literally the definition of a slight flex. And he said, money don't grow on trees, but it grows on me because I plant the seeds in the ground. Like I'm the one that puts in, I'm the one that puts in the work to see this grow, to see this mature. He's literally reaping what he sows. Fire. Money don't grow on trees, but it grow on me because I go throw seed in the ground. What? Yeah. Uh, everybody talking about the YOLO, living on the go when they don't have an automatic, gotta get a go, get it on a lead call, and then don't you see the code, and then I'm so cold with it. So 
prolific when it comes to the flow. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm getting lost in the rhyme scheme. This is what I say about Eminem's music. Like you have to, you have to have your ears ready. Let's rewind. Let's listen from the top of that part. I go throw seed in the ground. Yeah. Uh, everybody talking about the YOLO, living on the one go when they don't have an automatic. Gotta get them go, get them on a lead call, and they don't just see the code in it. I'm so Oof. cold with it, so prolific when it comes to the flow. I'm pro bow with it. Go respect uh -huh. my name, single ultra with it. Every single one of my bars gotta go ticket. <laughs> Every single one of my bars got a gold ticket, like literally a gold ticket from Wiki, from Willy Wonka. In other words, he don't miss. And he said, you better respect my name like Ocho Cinco said. What was, what's his real, I mean, that is his real name technically, but I think he just changed it back to what it was before. I gotta look it up. Calvin Johnson? Chad Johnson, Chad Johnson. And so many just sports references, bro. I'm all about the sports references, minor league. But he said, when it comes to the flow, I'm pro bowl with it. Like I'm the best of the best, Hall of Fame style flow. And he's right. But every single one of my bars got a gold ticket. <laughs> no, I'm not finished. Just started. Hey. No, I'm not. Tell me, go mind you. Hey, hey, that's fire to say, no, I'm not finished. I just started like his career. Like we're not even close to the end, but it's dope like within the actual song because he said that right after there was a rest in the, in the flow. There was like two beats, three beats, and then he went back into it. A lot of people will just keep the flow going and you would miss the entire, no, I'm not done yet. And then on top of that, he has the song that's I ain't done. Yo. No, I'm not finished, just start it. Ah. No, I'm not, tell me, go munch. Feel like Mike Vick with the option. Y'all hey. send blitz, I'm getting out the pocket. Y'all trend pick, I'm picking my flowers. Y'all been getting sour, y'all blend with the cowards. The flow switch up, bro, to go on like that. It's not it's not a triplet rhyme scheme, but that da 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 like that that little that little like rhyme delivery right there. He said he's like Mike Vick with the option, like basically he's untouchable. Y'all send blitz and I get out of pocket. Like literally the pocket that the quarterback stays in, but also the slang term, I'm out of pocket, like I'm out of hand. And he said, Y'all trend pick. I'm just pick, I'm out here picking my flowers. I'm reaping what I sowed. I'm not even in your lane because I created my own lane. And y'all been getting sours, y'all blend in with the cowards. You're comfortable doing what everybody else is doing. You're comfortable being a cookie cutter rapper. So I'm out here reaping the benefits of what I sold while you out there chasing the bag by doing what somebody else did already. Y'all are cowards. Get sour, y'all playing with the cowards. Uh, I'm right back in and all I can't lose. Can't walk in the more time I choose. I don't really know what side I choose. What's that I hear? Sideline booze. Uh, y'all ain't even in the game. Like, put me in, coach. Take a shot, but I'm the Kimbo to do my dance in the end zone. God. I literally said halfway through this song that I like all the sports references. And then he came with three more after I said that. Dikembo in the end zone, like, no, no, no. You can't do what I do. You can't even tie these shoes, much less fit in them and walk my path. The only one that can walk my path is me. And I'm walking in the path of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. But for real though, that's that's fire. The confidence to know that you're bringing your own style, you're bringing your own originality. So someone can't come to you and be like, yeah, I mean, I, I've heard it before though. I heard Drake do it. You're just another two chains. You're another whoever. Nah, I'm not, an, I'm not another somebody. I'm the first and only Andy Minio. And then the transition into these last like four or six bars, whenever you expect the beat to drop, but it doesn't drop. So his voice comes out clear right on the outro of the track. That's just solid ass production. Y'all been getting sour, y'all playing with the cowards. But I'm right back in and all I Like you expect, you expect the beat drop right there, but it's not, but it doesn't happen. I'm the Kimbo to do my dance in the end zone. Hey. What's up? <laughs> Isaac Dietz. Is it Dietz? Dietz? Dietz or Dietz? Yo, Isaac. The camera movement, the short focus, the light flares, the lens flares coming across the camera, the different the different color palettes whenever he's in different portions of the flow. We're in the, we're in the hotel room where it's really orange, it's really yellow, it's very warm. And then we go back to the cold where now we're in the outside again. Everything fit perfect, bro. Yeah. It blows my mind. I'm, I'm one of the first persons to see this. Andy, once again, bro, I really appreciate you giving me the opportunity to do this. And I hope that I did the song and I hope I did the breakdown justice. I know you saw my clarity. You said that no one else has caught ever that many of your bars. And that like humbled me. You're like, whoa, I actually might be kind of good at this. So I hope that I did the song justice. I hope I caught the bars that I thought that I caught. But yo, that brings us to the end of this video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you, you found it entertaining. Again, this is the last video in this iconic space where we grew from one subscriber to 100 
than 3,000. This video is recorded a few months in advance and I don't know what I'm at when at the time I released it, but where I'm at right now, 102, like 400 or something like that. But regardless of the space that we're in, whether it's this one or whether it's the one that Future Ernest is in, we got a long way to go and we ain't stopping for nothing. If you like what you see, please consider liking the video and leaving a comment down below. It helps the algorithm send the video out there. If you like what you see enough, please consider subscribing because this is how we do it on this channel. Long form videos, more in depth analytical feedback, bar breakdowns, reactions, emotions, the whole works. It all goes down every time. Follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at the third earnest, just like the channel. Links are down in the description below. Hit up the Discord. The Discord is probably gonna be the best place to chat it up with me. It's like 2020 instant messenger, it's fire. But that brings us to the end of today's video, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate your time. Andy, once again, I appreciate you giving me this opportunity to do this for you. And like I always say at the end of all of my videos, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other. And I'll catch everybody on the next video. Peace.